She's called the Mbabazi Agnes. Mm. She's the she's in the MANA recipient. Mbabazi in in one month uh, in, in 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 April, she gave birth to to twins uh, were, and were premature. So she came to us at the time uh, we we came to know that she came to us. She told us the the horror story after reading the, her names and uh, she couldn't reply. So the neighbor told us that she has given birth and she has a she was in a bad condition. So that day we gave her food to someone to bring it to her. Uh, she's here, she's alone, she, she's, she's a mother, she's a father. Now taking care of these kids and uh, it, is, it, is, it is not an easy thing. So they were born premature? Yes. Uh, how many months had she carried uh, them? There were six months. Uh, and they were born, you said Easter? Yeah, and yes, on Easter Monday. Easter Monday, Monday after Easter day. Yes, yes. Yeah, so they've been here living in this place. They've for been here living in this place, and right now, by almost the, two the, months. the time she gave birth to these kids, it was raining, very cold, very cold. And unfortunately, the, the, the bad thing in the hospital, they chased her. They chased her out of the yeah, hospital. Yeah, they wow. say they couldn't manage her after for, for one week, and uh, they couldn't handle the situation. So we don't know the reason why she was she was chased. Either they wanted the kids to die because they had nothing to do for the kids. But we thought God that the kids are still surviving. Agnes? How old are you, Agnes? Agnes, you're um, 26. 26, 26 years. years. How long have you been in Kampala? Since 2000. Why did you come to in, in Kampala? I came to be a maid. Be a maid? Yeah, in Kampala. Okay. So did you get that job? Yeah, so I got the job of being a maid. I worked for a certain woman. Unfortunately, my boss died. That had... Yeah, then I started devising means on how I could survive because I could not go back to the village because I do not have any relative there. On the landlord. Now, does she have a husband here? Or? Yeah, no. over the no mommy. No. no. Mm. Yeah, the husband ran away from her. Before the kids were born? Before the kids. So she's been taking care of these kids, using tubes, and uh, it's been not, it's not easy thing. So how does she easy. feed them now? Uh, she's using bottle. Yeah, yeah she's, she's using this, this bottle. To, okay. to feed them, and it is really very hard, like getting so manna, milk for these children. the manna and, uh, has um, enabled her to buy what she needs, uh, is that right? Yeah, it has. Yeah, yeah it has. So and without the manna, she... Without the food... She, then maybe she wouldn't have survived. Because she once she's, she's not working. Yeah. So without this food, I wouldn't have survived with the children. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what are the baby's names? Uh, <laughs> I have not yet given them the names. You not yet given them the names. Can I give you the names? Yeah. Eh? Are they girls or boys? Boys or girls? They are they're all boys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one is Misach and this one is Sadraj. <laughs> huh? Misach and Sadraj. So Meshach and Shadrach. Yeah, so I've given them the, those names. <laughs> yeah. I've given them those names. Okay. Yeah, now, Misach her name again is... Mbabazi Agnes. Agnes. Yes. Okay, Agnes, we will be praying for you and we'll have other people pray for you and <inaudible> for your babies. Now, what, what is the name of the name? Lucky. 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay, let us pray for you.